This meeting is being recorded. Yes, you should start, Anisha. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Welcome to the online meeting of Speakers Committee Toastmaster Club. I'm pleased to be your sergeant at arms for today's meeting. In the online meeting environment, there are a few instructions that we follow. I request you to rename yourself. All Toastmasters can pick Toastmaster to your name and guest can prefix guest. I also request all the speakers and role holders to prefix their role to their name so that it's easy to identify them. I give you 10 seconds for this activity. All speakers are requested to do a quick audio video, audio video check before they start their speech. Tech host will confirm on the settings. I would request you not to type in the chat box when a speaker is speaking as it disturbs the environment of the meeting. You are all requested to keep your audio on mute in case you, are, you aren't speaking. Please reframe, please reframe from unnecessary movements or sipping on drinks if you, your video is on. Please turn off the video in case you need to do so. Do not click on share screen unless uh, your speech role, uh, your speech or role requires you to do so. You can display a high fi or namaste when taking or leaving from any role. You can connect with the tech master for any technical glitch. The tech master for today's meeting is Kunal. Uh, Kunal Aland, Toastmaster Kunal. If you are a speaker, then please ensure you pin the timer or confirm that the same is visible at all the time. The meeting is being recorded. In case if you have any reservations, please let us know. You can network during the break and after the meeting. Today we are celebrating uh, Women's Day. Um, we provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop a communication and leadership skills, resulting in great self-confidence and personal growth. Now I introduce our presiding officer, Kalpna Kishore. She is a passionate reader, writer, and a traveling person. Professionally a coach, she enjoys networking, connecting with people, and touch of life. I welcome the presiding officer, Kalpna Kishore, to take you through the further proceedings. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Anisha, for that wonderful and lovely introduction. I welcome you all to the 52nd meet of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club. It's actually a pleasure to be sitting in front of you. Welcome you all to this meeting as we celebrate Women's Day. We all know, let me just begin with a slight joke that actually does a lot of wrong whenever we are together we are talking about the universe that was created by God. They said God made the universe and he slept off peacefully. God woke up and he made man. Again he slept. Absolutely peaceful about the whole thing. God woke up again and he made a woman. After that, he never went to sleep because that was his best lively creation that he ever brought on this planet Earth. Yin and Yang is a Chinese philosophical concept that describes how obviously opposite or contrary forces may actually be complementary and interrelated in this natural world and how they may give rise to each other as they interrelate to one another. That is how it is 
between a man and a woman. We should not be having gender biases. She wrote, that is a she hero. In today's tech world, she is cool as a cucumber. As she tackles her professional as well as domestic role, the Gilan. She is a woe man, W O O M A N man, making us complete as a woman in this world of humanity. Dear women, we don't have to be masculine to be strong women. We are born strong. Happy Women's Day to each and every one of you all who are here too. As a presiding officer, I would like to share some very interesting news. Our dear Toastmaster and today's Tech Master, Kunal Anand. Kunal, could you pin yourself, please? He has been declared as Toastmaster of the Month. Please give him a huge round of applause, everyone. Congratulations, Kunal, for the wonderful achievement. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. I now would like to call out the guests today. Guest Himangi. Guest yes. Himangi. Hi, hello. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for letting me in. Oh, no, you, we always let our guests say we are Indians, right? <laughs> we never gate crash. Our hospitality is that great. I hope you have a wonderful takeaway from our session. And it has got inputs that will help you professionally as well as personally. May I ask uh, guest Anamika? Anamika, could you just uh, come switch on your videos? Yeah. And uh, Kunal, could you just pin her too? Hi, Himang. It's a pleasure to have you. So how is the woman power or how did you celebrate the Women's Day? Um, we as such had uh, this uh, uh, yes. tiny uh, function out here in our office also. Like okay. We had a cute celebration. Okay, that must have been great. I'm so happy to have you here as a guest. I hope you really enjoy our sessions. It's always lively. Yeah. It is full of information and educative. I hope there is some takeaway, some way we touch you today as our meeting continues and commences. Uh, am I missing out a guest? I can see guest Ram Kumar. Ram Kumar, could you kindly switch on your video and let us tell a hi to you? Hello, I am, uh, hello, I am Ram Kumar. Okay. <laughs> I think your name here shows me as um, hello. So how are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you all? We are fine too. It's a pleasure to have you here. I hope yeah. you enjoy your Sunday evening. You have taken yes. out time. Thank yeah. you so much for joining yeah. us today. It is wonderful to have you here. Yes. I. That's it. I think. Uh, any other guests so far? Kunal, could you just do a quick check up and let me know if I missed out anybody? Kalpana, you missed Anamika. I have? Okay. Anamika? Uh, hello, evening, Anamika. Hi, Bye Anamika. Oh, I think I just spoke with you. You're Himangi or Anamika? Uh, I'm Anamika. You're Anamika. Yeah. All right. I, I spoke to you, Anamika, right? No, first I time. Yeah, no, no, okay. no. First time, just... Okay. Okay, Navika, wishing you a very nice Sunday. I hope you really enjoy our meetings. We really bring in and actually give life to our meetings, though we are on virtual platforms. I Thank hope you, you so much. A good Thank day you. Day. I wish you the same. And I just want to uh, tell that I'm currently in Malaysia and I have okay. joined my Pushmaster group here in Malaysia, but uh, okay. I got the opportunity to connect with other groups. So today afternoon only, I tried to search some groups. So I found your group and I yes. appreciate the quick reply and quick okay. connect they provide me. So thank you okay. so much uh, for that. Um, maybe in future also, I would like to connect with all Indian thank friends. Thank you, Anavika. That's really, I hope your lucky stumble turns out to be really lucky it was a lucky stumble i should tell that you you know stumbled upon this meeting and have joined us 
please stay for we always have a cafe or a networking session post our meeting we would like you to stay for the whole meeting and we would like to get you all that we know you better and we interact and speak with you so stay tuned all the guests we will speak more with you post the meeting let me now pass the baton to none other than the toast master of our day arti toastmaster arti is a passionate a keenly observant ever ready to take up any roles actually she is the opening batsman you know for our table topics round she is a charming smiling and extremely bright woman i now hand over the virtual stage to none other than toastmaster of the day toastmaster arti over to you toastmaster arti thank you presiding officer for a wonderful introduction good evening fellow toastmasters and guests it's my pleasure and privilege to serve as the toastmaster of the day for today before introducing the theme of the day let me explain the agenda of the meeting especially for the benefit of the guests toastmasters meeting is normally divided into three sessions first the pre prepared speech session in which our enthusiastic speakers will deliver their prepared speeches second one thing second one is the table topic session it is an impromptu speech in which speaker will speak on the given topic for 1 to 2 minutes and not more than that grace period of 30 seconds will be given on both sides guests are also welcome to participate in the table topic round third and the last session is evaluation session or feedback session now i would like to introduce my left and right arm that is my tech team that is accounter grammarian and timer be alert in using a um as our accounter toastmaster sharmista is listening very carefully i would like to invite toastmaster sharmista to explain her role over to you thank you and good evening toastmaster of the day arti fellow toastmasters and guests my name is sharmista and i am the r counter of the meeting today my role as the r counter is to count the number of unnecessary sounds or repetitive words used by the speakers in their speeches such as mm, uh you know i mean like i will also make a note of speakers when a speaker repeats a word or phrase such as i i and then i mean and such when we use such filler words they affect the fluency of our speech and make us sound vague unsure or hesitant i will present my report at the end of the meeting when asked upon to do so by the general evaluator thank you and over to you toastmaster of the day thank you toastmaster sarmista correct grammar is the key to speaking english fluently and confidently to help us improve our speaking skill we have toastmaster anisha i would like to invite toastmaster anisha to explain her role you are on mute anisha now i'm audible good evening toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and guests i am grammarian of the day as a grammarian it's my responsibility to pay uh, to pay close attention to all speakers listen carefully to their language usage 
i'll take note of any incorrect usage of grammar as well as well as any good uses of words quotes saying or thoughts as a grammar it's also my duty to introduce the word of the day for today's meeting the word of the day is uh, shero meaning a woman admired or idolized for her courage outstanding achievement or a noble quality a heroine example what an amazing experience to be able to meet your shero i will uh, each speaker is encouraged to use the word of the day i will give my report when called upon by the journal evaluator thank you and over to you toastmaster of the day thank you toastmaster anisha time and tide wait for no one today to keep an eye on our time management skills we have timer toastmaster ashwini toastmaster ashwini please explain your role over to you thank you so much toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and dear guest one of the skill we learn at the toastmaster is to conduct a program or a deliver a speech within a strict time limit as a timer i am responsible for keeping a track of time throughout the session for the prepared speeches i will show a green card at a minimum specified time the yellow card at the target time and the red card at the maximum specified time there is a grace period of 30 seconds on the either side of the specified time limits i shall present my report when called upon by the toastmaster of the day over to you toastmaster thank you march 8 marks international women's day a day set aside to acknowledge the many achievements and challenges women around the world experience in their daily lives it's both a celebration a sobering reminder that equality and opportunity are still beyond the reach of many women the event 2020-22 theme break the bias highlights the importance of women in a world that is equitable diverse and inclusive toastmasters international began to break the bias years ago after finally adding women members in 1973 the organization has elected female international president and chosen six women world champions of public speaking the organization welcomes diversity supports self directed achievement and foster real gender equality in speaking leadership and career advancement before we start our prepared speech session as charity begins at home i would like to congratulate our women stars who won at the club level in the international speech contest toastmaster serene and toastmaster kalpana in the international table topic contest uh, toastmaster serene is present with us she is not there okay toastmaster serene is not present with us uh, best of luck to her for the next contest i would like to request zoom master to spotlight our cool as cucumber toast master kalpana to say a few words on his achievement uh actually toast master is one uh, platform that we can start off with break the bias uh title that we have kept we are equal it is what we speak we that matters and how we speak that matters so having got this platform on toastmasters organization it has been a wonderful experience and i feel flattered 
by every other toastmasters who are our members the way they treat us and the way they look after us or care for us so it's great to be a woman on the platform of stoke toastmasters over to you toastmaster of the day thank you and best of luck for the upcoming contest thank you now let's move on with the first session that is prepared speech session our first prepared speech speaker is toastmaster jayati and her evaluator is toastmaster kalpana i would like to request zoom master to spotlight toastmaster kalpana to tell us the objective of toastmaster jayati speech over to you hi hello everyone today my speaker toastmaster jayati is going to give her project 2 level 2 speech sorry project 1 level 2 speech the purpose of the speech is to learn or review basic methods of writing a speech with a defined purpose and to present a well organized speech on any topic uh timer kindly note that the speech is going to be between 5 to 7 minutes over to you toast master of the day thank you toast master kalpana toast master jayati please check your audio and video am i audible am i visible yes you are toastmaster jayati million dollar routine million dollar routine toastmaster jayati thank you toastmaster of the day are you one of them who constantly feels like time is flying like a past and you are not able to face yourself with it do you have umpteen tasks to be done and you feel that you are constantly running out of time if yes i would be sharing a million dollar secret with you which would help you not only in getting time for yourself but also it would fetch you ultimate peace and happiness but before i do i would like everyone to answer two questions in their mind how many of you have witnessed sunrise since we have arrived in 2022 the second question did you ever get a chance to experience the magic the early wee hours have upon you yes you guessed it right the one solution to all your time management problems is to follow the million dollar routine which is to join the 5 am club do you know waking up at brahm muhurt can help you hit your goals faster because brahm muhurt is the period that begins 1 hour 36 minutes before sunrise and ends 48 minutes before sunrise it is the time when your mind is fresh and impressionable whatever that you command your mind to do at this particular time can be 10x easily achievable than any other time the cosmic energy in higher quantity is available to you as majority of the world is still sleeping as rightly said by the author of the 5 am club robin sharma it is a time of least distraction highest human glory and greatest peace no prize for guessing why the world stop achievers prefer to start their day really early do you know that only 1% of the world's population gets up at 5 am and those 1% are the most successful people on the earth they include bill gates elon musk our own pm modi and many others all these personalities have a clear vision and purpose in their life 
what is exactly million dollar routine? What will you do after waking up early? Let us dive deep into it. The first five minutes will be of silence. You all will be observing your thoughts and focusing on your breath. For the next 10 minutes, you will be doing blood boosting exercise. Read any book that will help you learn and grow for the next 10 minutes. You will also be practicing affirmations. They are the words of encouragement for yourself. You have to reclaim your self-confidence and build self-confident thoughts. You all must be wanting to ask, hey Jethi, all the benefits are right up to the mark and everything is good, but I have never been up so early in my life. How to do it? How can I inculcate this habit? This answer to this is to sleep early, to wake up early in the next morning. Don't deprive yourself of sleep. Go to bed early. Keep your mobile phone set way and bring an alarm clock near to you. Set an alarm and as soon as it beeps, say the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, and get up. The idea is not to give any moment to your mind to put the alarm on snooze or anything else otherwise. To form the 5 a.m. habit, we must pass through 21 days as our brains adapt to our new routine, culminating with our habits reaching a point of atomicity. I would like to share my own experience from being a now owl to an early morning riser. I have recently inculcated this habit in January 2022 and have been getting amazing results. The initial few days were very struggling, but now I don't even need an alarm clock to wake me up. My body clock does that job for me. I remember the first day when I woke up at five, I felt so tired. My eyes were red and my body felt like I had not slept at all the night before. It was very painful. However, from fourth day onwards, everything was falling into its place. Is it worth it? Absolutely. I now understand the power of having that one hour every day to focus on myself. I focus on my self-development. I dedicate this time to spend on myself. I never do work, check my email or social media, or I don't do anything for anyone else during this time. This is my time. I would like to do whatever I feel like for myself. This is my special hour, my power hour. I would recommend everyone to stay tuned to this million dollar routine and utilize its benefits. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Jayati. That was a wonderful speech. A great round of virtual applause. Now, I would like to Uh, our second speech speaker is Toastmaster Monika, and her evaluator is Toastmaster Sakti. I would like to invite Toastmaster Sakti to read out the objective of Toastmaster Monika's speech. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Arti. It's a pleasure to be here with this club today and celebrate the womanhood that we are. So today I am here serving as a evaluator to Toastmaster Monica. The purpose of this project is to learn or review basic methods for writing a speech with a defined purpose and to present a well-organized speech on any topic. This project is project two of level one in innovative pathway, uh, planning pathways 
of Toastmaster of Monica. And I have just one thing to say to my speaker, Toastmaster Monica. The most beautiful thing that you wear today is your confidence. All the best, and I'm looking forward. Timer, please note the speech is for five to seven minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Evaluator Toastmaster Sassi. Zoom Master, please spotlight Toastmaster Monica. I'm audible? Yes, you are. Okay. Thank you. Childhood is a promise that... One second. Monica? Yeah? One second. Toastmaster Monica, mother of thousands of orphans. Mother of thousands of orphans. Toastmaster Monica. Okay, thank you. Childhood is a, a childhood is a promise that is never forget. Childhood is a blissful phase of life. Parents love and the pamper their children and make them the center of their world. However, the same childhood can be the horrifying when the child has no parents. There is a no greater sorrow than being an orphan or leading the life without shelter. Having said that, the Devon sends the people to Mother Earth to make difference. Sindhutai is one such person by becoming the mother of two orphans. Sindhutai becomes the God gifts to thousands of orphan children. Sindhutai says, Chote chote sankat se mat daro, chalte raho, sankat se dosti karna siklo. Padmasri Sindhutai Sapkar was the beacon of love, compassion, and hope. The lady raised and nurtured around 1500 orphans. Her relentless mission to work for the people and their livelihood is a fitting reminder to one can be the good they want to see in the world. Today, we honor and remember my and her amazing journey. India is the second most populated country in the world and significant part of, part of this population are children. But it is appalling to witness the fact that the chunk of these children is usually orphaned and abandoned and are forced to live in po poverty and face continuous objection, objection for society. The story of Sindhu, Sindhutai Sapkar is an evidence for similar dejection. Born on the November, 14 November 1948, Sindhutai saw this word from the eyes of the cattle gasling family in the Vardha district of Maharashtra. Always considered unnecessary, she was named Chindi, which means the torn cloth. By Chin, uh, sorry, by the society. But the young Sindhutai's hunger to learn more was omnipresent. Her father was keen to educate her, but, but mother not. Hence, was able to complete her education only till fourth, fourth standard. At the nascent age of 10 years, she was married off to a man of 30 years. Even after being crushed, and changed by cycle of child marriage. Young Sindhu Fai never lost hope. Instead, her passion to help the helpless and wrong aggravated, settling in the Navargao forest in Vardha after marriage. She strongly opposed the exploitation of the village woman who collected cow dung by the forest department and landlords in 1972. The little, she, the little she knows that her fight would change her life for the worse. At the age of 20, nine, year, nine months pregnant, she was beaten badly and left to die her husband. She gave, she gave the birth to her daughter Mamta on 
14 October 1973, in that semi-unconscious state, in the cow shed, Sindhuda went back to the, her maternal home. But there she faced an unapologetic rejection from her mother. Feeling lost and betrayed, Sindhuta started singing and banging in trains and on the street. Just to make ends meet, she continued to fight for herself and her daughter's existence. She made train stations, cow sheds, and cemeteries her home. The Sindhudai says, also says, e bhi kuch gam nahi, tera dar chutne ke baad. Her ap, e bhi kuch gam nahi, tera dar chutne ke baad. Hum apne paas aaye, dil tutne ke baad. In this constant struggle of survival, she found herself in Chid, Chikaldara, situated in Amravati district of Maharashtra. Hence, due to the Tiger Preservation Project, 84 tribal villages were evacuated. Admits the confusion, a project officer empowered a 132 cows of, of villages were evacuated. Of Adivasi villagers, one of the cow died. Sindhutai decided to fight for the proper rehabilitation of the helpless tribal villagers. Her efforts were acknowledged by the Minister of Forest and made for appropriate arrangement for alternative relocation. Sindhutai Sapkar has received 270 awards from various national nations and international organizations. A Marathi film, Miss Indutai Sapkar, was also released on her biopic in 2010. She has founded numerous organizations across Maharashtra, which provide education and shelter to thousands of orphans. Sindutai has died due to the heart attack at hospital on 4 January 2022. She is a such uh, she is a such a hero in our life. In our life, thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Aarti, you're not audible. I think she just got dropped off. Aarti, she... Just wait for a minute for her to join. Hello, am I audible? Yes, Arti, yes. Please come. Okay. Uh, I was disconnected. So, evaluator has completed? No, we are waiting for you. Oh. Um, so, I am seeing some uh, timers uh, view. Okay. Thank you. Third speaker is Toastmaster Archita. Her evaluator is Toastmaster Meghna. 
I would like to invite Toastmaster Meghna to tell us the objective of this piece. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Hello? Yes, you are. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Aati. So the objective of the speech is for a member to practice using vocal variety or body to enhance speech. The time limit for the speech is five to seven minutes. And I wish all the best to Toastmaster Archita. Thank you, Toastmaster Meghna. Zoom Master, please spotlight Toastmaster Archita. Please take your audio and video. Hi, am I audible and visible? Yes, you are. Thank you. Toastmaster Archita, angels on earth, angels on earth, Toastmaster Archita. Mom, I don't feel well. My mom with a concerned look on her face. What is wrong with you? You were all right yesterday. I think I'm having a fever. I'm hardly surprised. It's because of your 24-7 addiction of mobile phone. I really feel like setting it on fire. Mom, it's not like that. It's all work-related stuff. You keep quiet. You don't know a thing. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. I'm sure, if not all, most of us have encountered this situation where our mothers say something that always leaves us speechless. Moms are the best thing that could happen to us. They take care of everything, our food, our health, and even our dinner dates. Everything. Do you ever feel that sometimes the fussing and extra affection gets a little too much? We love our moms anyway. Mother, mom, ma, amma. These words for the most beautiful soul sound similar across all languages and evoke a similar connotation of love and warmth. Do you believe that there is a superior power that protects you all the time? I do. And for me, that mystic power is my mother. She is the supreme power. There are so many times when even we do not know what we need, but our mothers do. We play a million, she plays a million different roles, from a cook to a breadwinner, the one who pampers us and the one who scolds us too. She plays all these roles without a fuss. Aren't they the sweetest souls in everyone's life? I'm sure they are. Personally, my mother is my best friend. I'm an introvert, okay? And the closest person to me, for me, in my life is my mother. She dons so many different roles in my life. She's my comforter. She's my guiding angel. She's my shero. She's my guide. And she's also my confidant. But there's also a lot of fun and drama that she comes with, okay? So who do you... So, you know, for example, if I'm, I'm on a call... She, she'll be very curious and she's like, who do you keep talking to on the phone all day long? Who is calling you at this time of the night? Who texted you at this, uh, you know, early morning? Also, why is your Kali calling you on a weekday? She's so curious all the time. You can be on the phone with your boss or a credit card company or the cute guy from work. But moms just don't get it. Do not disturb. I once told my mother, Mom, wake me up at 8 a.m. in the morning tomorrow, will you? I have also set an alarm, but, you know, just in case I'm not able to get up, can you please come and check in on me at 7.45 in the morning? Archata, wake up. You're late. It's 8.30, Baba. Get up. Get ready. Isn't it an important day for you? I wake up frantically. And I look at the time. And it's 7.45 a.m. still. Remember, I had to get up at 8.30. I'm sure we all know the importance of the last 15 minutes of sleep. Imagine my plight. Oh, and while we're speaking about timing, my and my mom's timing never match. My 8 is her 8.30 or maybe 9. There's some different time zone that they follow. I think it's called MST, Motherly Standard Time. 
another interesting thing that my mom does is asking about my whereabouts i'm sure all you girls out there relate to this as soon as i'm leaving the house archika what time are you going to be back will you have food at home and who are you going with can you please remind me give me a break mom let me go first there are so many contingencies that i need to consider before i give you a timeline and you start calling me to check why am i a minute late yes that's absolutely right a minute late if i give her a timeline of 9 o'clock 9 5 my phone's ringing and my mom's calling me to check if i'm alive such cuties na oh just by the way my mom is fixated to teach me how to cook the yummy delicacies that she makes but the sad part is i'm not interested you'll know when i'm not around some day her favorite punch line a mother is the most important person in everybody's life she develops unconditional bonding with her children and remains the closest throughout their life her endless sacrifices and qualities of forgiveness are unmatchable mothers play a very responsible role in shaping the future of children i am whatever i am because of my ma she definitely stayed up with me all night during my exams and woke up early whenever i am no matter how much i ridicule her habits she is my go to person when i just need to hold someone on a bad day she's as calm as a cucumber and always tries to solve my problems it may have felt like i was complaining about some things that my mom does but in reality i find it really adorable and i would give up anything in this world for her to call me and ask me what i feel like having for dinner no not when i'm drowning in work and you know i just want to hang up and she's constantly calling me just to ask what i want to have for dinner in the words of agatha christie and i quote a mother's love for her child is nothing else in the world it knows no law no pity it dares all things and crushes down remorselessly all that stands in its path cheers to all the mothers nature's most beautiful creations thank you over to you those faster of the day Aarti, you are on mute. Okay. Thank you. That was a wonderful speech. A great round of virtual applause from to uh, for Toastmaster Achita. Now I would like to invite a timer for timing report. So Jayanti took six minute and twenty six minute seconds. Monika took six minute and twenty eight second, and Archita took six minute and eleven seconds. So all are qualified for the voting. Thank you. Zoom master, can we launch the poll for the best speaker? Yeah, just a second. Tell me when the poll is over. Yes, we are done. Thank you. While we talk of women empowerment, we must remember that every successful woman. has earned her position by the virtue of their hard work and dedication they have earned their place by competing completing competing with the best 
in sun and rain. Empowering women in the economy and closing gaps in the world of work across the globe has become imperative. 50% of world's population comprises women and in India, it is 48%. In such a pool of talent and potential, if not utilized, it is a loss for human race. Uh, I am going to play one song. So please tell me, unmute yourself and tell me who is the singer. We are unable to hear. Okay, it's a mere watan ke log. Lata Mangeshwar. Yes, we all know the sweet voice of the millennium late Lata Mangeshwar. How can we forget the queen of melody and her contribution to the Indian music industry in a career? Spanning, spanning seven decades. She is undoubtedly the nightingale of India. It's time for our second session, that is Table Topic Round. I would like to invite Table Topic Master, Toastmaster Aswini. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day. So the purpose of the table topics is to have members practice thinking and speaking on their feet. The impromptu speaking helps to develop four communication skills, listening, thinking, organizing, and delivering. To help, uh, to help you to practice, today I have prepared some of the topics and that are related to the our today's themes and our Women's Day celebration. So Toastmaster clubs have a tradition of getting as many people to speak in the meeting as possible. The table topic round tries to uphold this value by providing everyone an opportunity to speak. I encourage everyone to give it a try or I may randomly call anyone to participate or you can volunteer yourself. For the benefit of the guests, I will read the topic twice. Also reiterating what the grammarian said, you are urged to use the word of the day and the phrase of the day during the table topics round. So before we begin, uh, as I'm also a timer, so I will tell you the timing guidelines for the table topics round. So for the table topic, the speeches are for the one to two minutes. I will show the green card at one minute, the yellow card at one and a half minute, and the red card at the two minute. The speaker will have 30 second grace period after the two minutes to wrap up his speech. So who want to volunteer first? As I already said that the topics are related to today's celebrations. So please participate. Uh, I would like to Okay, Ankit. So first, uh, just tell me if uh, the timer cards are visible to you or not. Uh, yes, they are. Okay. So Ankit, boys gossip more than girls do. Boys gossip more than girls do. 
अंकित बॉयज गॉसिप मोर देन गर्ल्स डू इज इट टोस्ट मास्टर यस यस ओके इफ यू से सो but i believe it is girls who gossip more than boys but i i think it's more about having a balance boys gossip in some kind of scenarios and girls gossip in some kind of scenarios it depends on what the scenario is i'll talk about myself i wouldn't want to judge anyone but what i have seen in the few years that i've lived on this earth is that boys would gossip at some point of time wherein their ego comes into picture being a boy i can say that for example let me give you an example for example if there is a situation wherein you have been uh, reprimanded by your boss that would be a time that you gossip with, about your boss to your colleagues and believe you me we gossip like crazy if you want to gossip about a boss all the boys here would agree with me for girls it may not only be limited to the uh, professional world but it also depends on the way wherein girls i have seen are more jealous of other girls than boys of of uh, yeah like for example boys check out girls but girls check out boys uh, girls itself because they they feel that uh, it's about the uh, uh, it's about coming at a level with each other and that is what uh, is empowering about girls because they do not compare themselves with other than gender they compare themselves with themselves as in their own gender and that itself is very empowering and uh, so overall i believe uh, although you can be calm as a cucumber but at the inside there would be a lot of gossiping going on with respect to each of the external that comes out i know i'm just blabbering but uh, this is what i feel about uh, gossip that a girl does gossip and a boy also gossips but it's at a balance and in different scenarios thank you and over to you toast master bere thank you so much ankit and it was right that male gossip means i am having some male colleagues and they also do gossips about the bosses and it is crazy gossip i know this so who is going to be next where is uman empower may i ha uh, yes of course so actually first check if the screen is visible not yet yes yes timer cards right yes yes i can see them so women should wear traditional dresses only women should wear traditional dresses only sakshi women should wear traditional dresses only i would agree when they are going for weddings when they are going to temples when they are having festivals you know why because they are the most luxurious beautiful dresses that you get to wear western may be beautiful but on these occasions you need to adorn yourself with the jewelry and heavy sarees and dupattas and everything working for you looking pretty and beautiful coming to western you never said western is compulsory or not but yes it's a little more comfortable when you are trekking cycling jogging mountaineering parasailing you wouldn't want to wear a sari to those places right <laughs> so yes whether you want to wear a traditional dress or a western dress it's absolutely your choice you want to be comfortable you want to look pretty beautiful but compulsion hmm. let's leave it to the person who wants to wear it trust me <laughs> i have a personal story i was wearing a sari because i wanted to visit a devi temple in darjeeling and it was very uh, few some time after my marriage so i was all decked up and adorned on the way we had a mountain climbing location and my husband said hey, let's do this i said i'm wearing a sari he said 
okay, but we'll have to wait for a day to come back to this location. Okay, I'll do it. I said, listen, I'll also do it. So I wore that sari and without compromising on my modesty at all, I climbed that mountain of, I think it was 50 feet high. And I climbed that and the entire alley of people and shopkeepers and children and everyone standing there were giving me looks like there I was on top. Don't you dare a woman what, to sh what she's supposed to wear when and how. <laughs> I have that take. And thank you so much. <laughs> Over to you. Thank you so much for your personal experience also because at the start, actually I started imagining how a woman can do a cycling or the trekking while wearing a sari and you actually did that. So thank you so much, Sakshi. So Sharmishta, do you want to go next? Okay, thank you. Yes, I will. Let's check if you can see the timing cards. Yes, I can. Sharmishta? Why it's compulsory for a woman to learn cooking? Why it's compulsory for a woman to learn cooking, Shamista? Uh, you said why it is compulsory for a woman. I think it is absolutely not compulsory for a woman to learn cooking. See, our mothers, they want us to uh, learn a few things, uh, to be like, they will feel like, you know, when you get married and you uh, go to your uh, in-laws place, they should, you should appear like you're well-groomed and you know so many things. Uh, I have learned that from my mother, but believe me, after marriage, I have had such a wall. I did not have to cook. I have been a working person right from the beginning. I have, we, most of us can manage to have a lady coming over and cooking for you. And believe it or not, my husband is a very good cook. And occasionally when he does feel like it, he cooks so well that it compensates for everything. My children, they have said to their friends so many times that, you know, we have really good food at home, but we can't say that my mother's food is so good. I said, it doesn't matter. You have at least somebody you can say that my mother's food is so good. So I wouldn't say that a woman has to learn cooking, but cooking is also a pleasure to spend your time doing, you know, you can concentrate, you can enjoy, listen to music and cook. Can you feel so good at the end of it when you have prepared a special dish and see the happiness on the faces of your husband, your children, that really takes the cake. So I would say I'm a, as cool as a cucumber most of the times when it comes to cooking. And, uh, um, and I really would uh, say that yes, cooking, no cooking, we are still great women. Thank you so much and over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much. And as you said, actually, as you given the example of your husband, I think most right now, most of the husbands are good cook good than cooks. their wives. Yes. So who want to go next? So where are men? Akarshak. Akarshak, right? I think it's not, he's not audible and visible right now. Hello, can you hear me now? Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Can you please confirm if you can? Actually, Akarsha, there is noise from your background. Um, I mean, there will be a lot of noise actually because I'm sitting in a cafe, so like, I can probably okay. skip. Okay, so my timer cards are visible to you? Yes. Okay. 
सो आकर्षक गर्ल्स हैविंग मोर रेस्ट्रिक्शंस देन बॉयज गर्ल्स हैविंग मोर रेस्ट्रिक्शंस देन बॉयज आकर्षक थैंक यू फॉर दैट टॉपिक आई थिंक टुडेज मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स आर लाइक कॉन्ट्रोडिक्टरी बिकॉज आई थिंक यू हैव टू सपोर्ट इधर वन ऑफ द ओपिनियंस I feel like this might not be as accurate because I have seen a lot of guys who have also been faced with a similar kind of situation. Yes, definitely. Considering this is a country like India, where uh, women are not respected as much as the rest of the world, uh, there are a lot of restrictions because parents are a lot more, you know, controlling. Maybe controlling is not the right word. A lot more caring, and it's it has to be a balance of both. So I feel like. there are a lot more lot more restrictions when it comes to girls um this because the society has set the stereotype and uh, when again i know a lot of my friends who in their childhood guys were a lot more restricted than it came to girls uh, compared to girls i mean and and in fact that is probably the reason they they became like a bad person because If if you are restricted too much, you will feel like doing it a lot more. Me personally speaking, I was not having too many restrictions. I understood the good and bad of both sides, which is why I turned out to be a lot better individual than most of my friends. Um, sorry for the self praise, by the way. Um, and I also have a lot of friends who are girls. They were restricted, and they also kept a balance. And uh, some some of the girls I know, they fought back, they pushed back, and they told their parents that. This is something that we really need for ourselves, and uh, I think once you start learning about these things and you start understanding what you really want, the restriction is just a name. This is just a name. It it just fades away with time. Um, so then again, yes, I would have to agree. Girls do have more restrictions, but end of the day, it does not really matter matter as long as you can fight back. Yeah, thank you. thank you so much actually the one sentence you said uh, even i am feeling the same even my parents are not at all allowing me for the solo trip but th this is not a restriction this is actually a caring for me <laughs> i know this <laughs> okay thank you so much now who want to go next i would like to go, give a try who Tech master, can you please spotlight the person? Yeah, who is it? I missed it. Uh, uh, this is Ram Kumar. Okay, Ram. Ramkar can you please check if you can see the my timer cards yes so ram kumar how you celebrates a women's day how you celebrates a women's day ram kumar thanks for this uh, wonderful question so recently on march 8 we all celebrated women's day and personally the way i celebrate women's day is respecting all the fellow women who had have personal influence in me in making me uh, starting from a mother who's a shero and who's all, always cool like a cucumber and also all the uh, my grandma grandmother the, all the fellow aunts the neighborhood aunties i wish them all personally and also all the friend, friends who have have in the uh, in girls and also respecting their uh, fe femininity so this is how i celebrate women's day and it is a special day where your the fe feminine aspect is celebrated because being a female involves a lot of sacrifice and also it is because of a woman a man is also complete and also in women itself there is a man so 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 with this aspect i celebrate uh, women's day thank you table topic master for today 
thank you so much ram kumar even like you even i got the same messages from my friends but uh, i want to add something like why we always celebrate on the 8 march like we post the photos of our mother or friends on the whatsapp and the instagram stories on the 8 march itself for the women's day but actually we should say them thank you on other days also so that's my thought uh, now who want to next go is there anyone uh, kalpana do you want to volunteer yeah hi actually i just uh, gave a clap sign to the okay. uh, but you can yeah it's okay i don't mind i'll participate yeah you can ask me okay so first please confirm if you can see my timing cards yes i can see your timer cards so kalpana two things you like to change in life of modern woman two things you like to change in life of modern woman kalpana two things i would like to change in a modern woman good evening fellow toastmasters guests and our tea morning as i reflect honestly there is nothing i want to change in a modern woman in a woman a generation that was my mothers or my grandmothers we women are strong given any circumstances we march ahead with our held held high let me tell you how i realized that we are strong no matter whether we are rural born women or whether we are urban born women i was once traveling with my family and on the road i came across a woman from a village with pots of potters on her head as she started her journey probably from a tube well to fetch water and take it to her village home uneducated and cultured was she employed perhaps no but was she taking care of her family was she giving everything that she had within her power to nurture her family yes yes modern urban rural my mother my grandmother and generations back we never back out of any challenges that come our way and modern women they are balancing both the home and career with the land with a smartness that tells the world 50% of the population of the world is women come on women let's contribute to the wellness of this earth and world yes nothing nothing i don't want to change a thing where a modern woman is concerned over to you table topic master thank you so much and you are right like everyone has his own characteristics and own personality so there is no need to change a woman so is there anyone who want to volunteer okay so as a timer right now i will tell the timing report ankit took 1 minute and 50, 51 second sakshi took 2 minute and 5 second sharmishta took 1 minute and 51 second akashak took 1 minute and 57 second ram kumar took 1 minute and 5 second and kalpana took 1 minute and 52 second so all are qualified for the voting take master can we have a link for the uh, voting can you move forward we can do it a bit later maybe okay we are ready with it
now i would like to hand over the session to the toast master of the day thank you toast master aslimi all the topics were really very interesting and we all enjoyed the table topic session today mother teresa said and i quote alone i alone cannot change the world but i can cast a stone across the waters to create many pebbles i am going to show you one picture unmute yourself and tell me who sees uh, can you see no okay now yes who is she can anyone can you see the picture right yes we can okay okay uh, should i move on gave to the padmashri i think very recently but i'm forgetting her name yes, and call yes yes you are right in some really one forgetting. particular it's thing about, about trees it. or it's about tree plants i don't know i'm i'm just missing the call but i'm sure she is the one who received the padmashri recently yes that's right and uh, one particular thing and she was very viral on uh, social media for one particular thing yeah she came without the slippers of footwear right yes yes yes, yes. yes. she is an environmentalist tulsi gowda who collected her padma shri award barefooted her simplicity hooked up all of us she has planted more than 30000 saplings and looks after the nurseries of the forest department despite all having no formal education she has made immense contribution towards preserving the environment she is known as the encyclopedia of forest sky is the limit for our brave women the country's first women rafael fighter jet pilot shivangi singh she was a part of the indian air force tableau at the republic day parade now it's time for the third session that is evaluation session i would like to invite our general evaluator toastmaster duty you must please spotlight general evaluator toastmaster duty the stage is all yours i hope i am uh, audible and visible i am using two devices because i am facing a technical issues you are uh, visible and audible Both. great great thank you so much for having me a very good evening to all the toast masters here uh, it's been a fabulous experience for me so far so let me quickly start with the evaluation section for this meeting um the evaluation section is extremely important for any meeting because the, it's a great opportunity for all our uh, speakers to get instant feedback from their fellow toastmasters and it is my duty as a general evaluator to call upon each of the evaluators to present their evaluations and also share my feedback on the entire quality of the meeting uh, as a whole 
I will also be calling upon the timer, the hour counter, and the grammarian to present their reports. So let's not wait anymore. I'm sure the speakers are excited to hear feedback from our evaluators. Let me call upon the first evaluator, Toastmaster Kalpana, to evaluate, uh, present the evaluation for Jayati speech. Over to you. Thank you, General Evaluator Duty. Early to rise and early to bed. Early to rise, early to bed made some man healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is something I've been hearing from my mother since I was a child. And today, my speaker, Toastmaster Jayati, put it across very well, asking us very directly, rattling us to the core when she asked us, join 5 a.m. club? Oh, wow. See the sunrise? Wow. That made us realize that how long we actually loiter in our bed. Honestly, her explanation of Brahma Murat actually brought about the Brahma within me awake. I like the way she explained what Brahma Murat was to people who are not aware of our culture. The flow of your speech was great. I like the way it seamlessly took us through a journey of what it is if we wake up early and what are the benefits? Your statistics of one person data, which holds the top 10 global leaders who have the habit of waking up early was really an insightful journey that you revealed to us, giving a call, a wake up call. You also had Robin, Robin Sharma's quote. That was very cool. Your voice when you spoke about the alarm clock, your exhaustion when you initially tried to wake up early or break the habit of waking up late really resonated and your voice modulation was good at that point. However, every waking moment we have to be alert, especially at Toastmasters to be speakers. So here is something I would like to add to your million dollar speaking routine. Your struggle to wake up could have had some more funny moments as to how you tried to struggle out of your bed and look out for an alarm clock to shut it down. You had good hand gestures, but somewhere the eye contact was missing. If you could have stood up and given your speech, the energy of your voice would have been so stupendous that your body language would have been more effective that way, connecting with all your audience. You could have been 100% more effective and alert this way. On the whole, a wonderful speech, a great message that you delivered to all of us, asking us to wake up. Thank you for that wake up call. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Kalpana, for a very comprehensive and well structured evaluation for Speaker Jayati. I am sure she will benefit from it and also incorporate some of those inputs in her next speech. Let's call upon the next evaluator, Toastmaster Sakshi, to evaluate uh, Toastmaster Monica's speech. Toastmaster Sakshi, you will have two minutes for your evaluation. I request you to take the stage, please. Very good evening to Toastmaster Monica. You know, an American music writer, songwriter, Carly Simon, once said, a really strong woman accepts the wars that she has gone through and is ennobled by the scars. The story that you brought out today of Sindhutai actually made me believe it. The purpose of your speech today was to speak on something specific and how you've written it is beautiful. It was so informational, it was so statistical and it was so sequential. Second very good thing was that you were not nervous. It wasn't very evident that you are speaking or presenting your project for the first time after your icebreaker. That's the beauty. Now, 
as you are delivering what you have written so well, we have, I have a suggestion. Portion your content while writing and speaking. When you introduce, stand in the center. You were sitting, but to be more connected with your audience, stand in the center. Give that introduction of childhood and your protagonist of the story. Move to one side to tell the, the struggles that she was going through. Then again, maybe move to another side to say what she fought for and how. And then towards the end, leave us with a message. This is about stage presence. And now about writing, bring those three struggles where she did not speak when she was a maiden, two when she got married and was beaten up by her husband, and third when she had a daughter but was rejected by her mother. And then talk about the noble scars that she used for the orphans, for the tribals, and in her childhood when she was talking about the villagers of her family. Bring all of that together and make it curious for the audience to see what you're going to say, to hear you for those five to seven minutes with curiosity till the end. Hook them on to your speech. Overall, your content was beautiful, your protagonist was beautiful, your message that we are strong women, no matter what, was so beautifully brought out in your speech. Just a little focus on your stage presence, on your expressions, and structuring, portioning, will bring you wonders. Over to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you. Thank you, Sakshi, for that uh, evaluation. Moving on to the third evaluator, I will. I would now like to call upon Toastmaster Meghna to present her evaluation for Toastmaster Archita. Over to you, Toastmaster Meghna. You have two minutes. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Hello? Am I audible and visible? Yes. Yes. So, uh, today, I was wondering, what can be injured on the earth? We all love angels. I thought today the angel would come with lots of gifts. I'll be happy to see that. But who would be that angel? But thanks to Toastmaster Archita to let us know who is that most beautiful angel on the earth. And that's none other than our mother. Let me tell you, you were really confident well prepared and had a clear voice so i was able to hear your each and every word you had a beautiful hand gesture when it was actually required and it was supporting your message you were looking very calm and well prepared and even you had a very beautiful smile during your speech so that was making you confident the content was good you can work upon the delivery part, but I love the way you organize your speech. You told us the story of your mother. You had the beautiful, interesting parts in the story, and the stories always connect the audience. This is the most amazing part in your speech. I also like the way you were trying uh, to play with your voice during your speech. However, uh, I would now like to recommend a few suggestions from my side, which would help you to be the better speaker next time. So my first suggestion for you is you can work upon your expression. For an example, when you say, it, do you feel? So when you say, do you feel? No one feels. But when you say, do you feel? to show that on your face. Do you feel? Then take a pause. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Show that on your face. When you were saying, I'm on a call. Say, I'm on a call. You could have shown a little bit drama you have, so you could have created those during your delivery part. 
then you had a murder so when she was speaking the dialogue to you you could have used the character placement which i said so when you have uh, two or more characters you can show during your stage time so for example uh, archita is sleeping and when her mother tries to wake her up you could have said archita wake up early it's getting late mom i'm still feeling sleepy see when you see this you could actually feel those two different characters so these are my recommendations for you and i'm sure the next time you'll be the better speaker all the best sir thank you so much uh, to master meghna for that very theatrical and expressive evaluation uh, appreciate it let's uh, call upon our timer for the day toastmaster ashwini to present her timer's report so for the evaluation round kalpana took 2 minute and 52 second sakshi took 2 minute and 57 second and meghna took 3 minute and 7 second so uh, all are qualified for the voting great thank you so much uh, toastmaster ashwini for that let's move on to the other reports i'd now like to call upon the r counter okay i think uh, there is a poll that has been initiated for the best evaluator so we'll take a pause for that tech master do let me know when the polling has been done so we can move ahead yes sir great thank you so much i would now like to call upon the r counter to present the report uh thank you general evaluator dyuti i'll now present my report i will uh, first mention about the uh, speakers what i can say is that women today did not need the crushes of using repetitive words or sounds uh, all the speakers were very clear in their speeches archita has used so and uh, just once or so uh, monica has uh, repeated childhood twice uh, but the rest of the speakers are uh, that in the table topics there is ankit who spoke a uh, four times and and repetitively once akarshak spoke you know two times and he used and and three times sakshi said uh, just once uh, among the uh, uh, timer ashwini she has used so a number of times seven to eight times and a uh, three times um toastmaster kalpana has used a uh, once adyuti has uh, used a uh, uh, once uh, that is all and i really think all the speakers today were the sheru i have uh, enjoyed listening to all the speeches thank you and over to you general evaluator adyuti thank you toastmaster sharmista for that exhaustive report last but not the least somebody who's been watching us like a hawk observing all our good usages as well as the bad ones not so good ones let's call upon our grammarian toastmaster anisha to present her report thank you journal evaluator so here my report goes word of the day used by that is shayu used by toastmaster kalpana toastmaster monica toastmaster archita and uh, lastly toastmaster shamish and phrase of the day cool as cucumber used by toastmaster arti toastmaster archita and toastmaster ankit some good saying are time and tide waits for no one used by arti toastmaster arti i have noticed one abbreviation also that is mst motherly standard time a very different one uh some uh, words or uh, some good uses of words are protagonist maddened thriatical 
noble scars combustion and that's it some good quotes i alone cannot change the world but i can cast a stone across the water to create many ripples mother teresa used by i guess arti i have an issue to note let's and second a really strong woman accepts the war she went though and is ennobled aha uh-huh. it, it's a quote it's by carly simon um lastly some words that are not been pronounced correctly are existence effort and a sentence which is has been pronounced like in our life it should be it it is pronounced like in your life it should be in our life it's in our life not our, our life so who wants to go next only till fourth standard it should be she has done her schooling till fourth standard and that's about it over to you journal evaluator thank you toastmaster anisha i will now uh, give my evaluation for the overall meeting we just have about 10 minutes so i'll try to do this a little bit uh, quickly so let me start with the time management aspect the meeting started in time uh, the sa was very warm and welcoming and gave out all the listed all the instructions for us to follow i also took pointers for my own club because these are some things which we miss so very exhaustive and very well done uh, by the sa then we come to the presiding officer who introduced the theme of the meeting with a wonderful quote she was especially very welcoming towards the guests i had a quick chat with her too when i joined the meeting i think my only suggestion would be to spend a little less time on uh, interacting with the guests uh, so that you know we can move on a little bit faster uh, we had around 4 to 5 guests today and uh, i think each of them was called upon to say hi and introduce themselves maybe a little bit time could have been saved there uh, for the for the general good of the meeting so that we close in time there was um, a slight confusion in the names of the guests i think anamika's name and somebody's got mixed up um, i think a na- person's name is very important to them so a suggestion that maybe before the guests join in it could be clarified beforehand so that we save time and there is no confusion um moving on uh, the presiding officer handed over uh, very smoothly to the toastmaster of the day introducing her with a fabulous introduction the theme was introduced um, i especially appreciate the toastmaster of the day for engaging us with music with pictures uh introducing talking about the theme of the day um using the word of the day as well as the phrases of the day telling us stories so a wonderful job done by toastmaster arti and um, i think it was she's an excellent presenter really appreciate all the effort that was put in to make the overall meeting extremely engaging after every phase that was concluded whether it was the toastmaster session uh, the speech evaluation or the general evaluation so congratulations toastmaster of the day moving on uh, let me also now come to a, come to the speakers then i will move on to the table topic speakers as well as the reports all right so coming to the speeches coming to the speeches uh, talking about speaker jayati i think uh, a wonderful speech filled with lot of facts filled with lot of great explanations she also ensured that if she is using certain words which may not be comprehensible to certain audiences she explained them in great detail so that they could also relate i especially liked the fact that she used her personal experiences to make the stories more relatable for all of us here 
great uh, voice modulation and also use of actions and how she showed us exercising and all of those actions really added to to the gravity of her speech uh, so well done and uh, very smooth transitions overall so congratulations to you on your speech i think you've inspired some of us to join the 5 am club even though it is it is personally for me it's always been a struggle but i think inspired by you going forward we'll at least try and wake up i'll at least try and wake up at 6 o'clock if not 5 uh, so great job on motiv- motivating us there moving on to speaker monica uh, speaker monica brought spoke about a very inspiring story about sindhu tai i had briefly read about her long time back but there are a lot of facts and figures that she came up with uh, and explained to us in such detail about her life story and her struggles her challenges and uh, certain motivators as uh, sharing her own experience experiences in parts which connected through the entire story very well the entire speech was very well structured there was good usage of vocabulary as well and uh, overall she also used the word of the day so great job great job done on the research and the structuring of the entire speech there were maybe certain errors in terms of grammar and pronunciation which were obviously which were already pointed out by the grammarian so a little bit of work there would uh, make you a fabulous speaker going forward lastly let's move on to speaker archita i think what a wonderful idea to engage audiences with dialogues and with personal experiences i think she I, i'm not sure but i think she maybe she has a background in theater because i really liked her uh, speech delivery and the way she interacted and she made she quoted so many incidents that uh, made uh, made it very relatable for us for all of us i mean for me especially uh the factor that you know her mom tried to wake wakes her up at 7:45 telling her that it's 8:30 already that's happened to me all my life so i could relate to that very well so great job on picking out the right ex- right uh, incidents which were so relatable and uh, a very innovative way to to deliver a speech so great job done moving on to the reports let me also speak about uh, the toastmaster so i will just quickly point speak about the toastmaster of the day toastmaster ashwini so special appreciation for her for taking up two roles she was the timer as well as the toastmaster of the day and i must say she was she con- she handled both the roles very confidently and uh, very beautifully Uh, without any glitches so congratulations to you to you on that there's only one suggestion from my side that uh, when whenever you are the toast master of the sorry table topics master and you are inviting people to speak don't wait for people to volunteer just call out their names uh, people would be happy to speak in most situations nobody would say no uh, this is also training you for influence how you influence people and how you take up leadership roles so just call out people so that we can move a little bit faster and also save on uh, time uh, so that that bit i think that's one suggestion you can keep in mind for for next time but otherwise i like the fact that you engaged with every speaker you gave them a uh, one line feedback after everybody's speech you engaged with them you appreciated them so great job done on that there were slight uh, tech- technical glitches in between but uh, i uh, really appreciate that nobody panicked nor the neither the tech master nor toast master arti when she had suddenly dropped off from the meeting so no panics there everybody remained calm and handled the situation very well so that just goes to show how experienced speakers handle these technical glitches as well which sometimes can thing can throw things uh, can throw things at you when you're off guard so um, good job on handling those situations uh, now let me move on to the table topic speakers um, ankit he spoke about he spoke about who gossips more the women folk or the men uh, so yes i appreciate the fact that 
even though the topic could have had certain negative connotations he decided to take it upon himself and he spoke about his own story so that nobody else gets offended so uh, a quick uh, top of the mind recall and great sh- uh, story sharing on that front uh, it is always especially when it comes to humor it's always uh, a good good idea to do self deprecating humor instead of you know picking on people so that's something that i learned by one of the from one of the speakers in my club so the great tip used there Sa- sakshi coming to sakshi sakshi i think is a great brilliant storyteller she has a very sweet calming voice you want to listen to her and it was great to see that all the women speakers especially in the table topics and even for the even the men for that matter they broke stereotypes and kudos to ashwini for picking up topics which were slightly controversial but all our speakers in the table topics they broke stereotypes and decided to be uh, politically correct in certain cases but great job by all the speakers uh, sharmishtha good again good breaking of the stereotypes talking about your husband also being a book, good cook uh, sharing a personal story cooking yes cooking should be pleasurable and it should not be forced on men or women so i totally agree with that um akarshak yes initially we couldn't see his uh, video but uh, all that was managed well appreciate him being in a public place and still having the courage to speak openly on a platform sometimes we may get you know uh, nervous uh, when other people are looking at us that where is he speaking and why is he speaking to a device so uh, kudos to you on your courage to speak in a public place despite being in a public place i i remember you mentioning you were in a cafe so good attempt we hope that you keep coming back uh, ram kumar on talking about his influences that he's had um he maybe could have spoken for a little bit longer but i liked his initiative as a guest as well lastly kalpana kalpana i think uh, is is a fantastic speaker she has the most uh, wonderful stories to share and i like the fact that she op- expanded the horizon of the modern woman and did not just speak about women who go to offices and manage careers and and homes but she also spoke about rural women so good job on that and on expanding the horizon and breaking the stereotype there all right so the overall for the lack of time i am just going to take two more minutes overall kalpana sakshi meghna all of them uh did a good job on the evaluation they made sure that there were positive comments positive suggestions uh appreciation for all the speakers the recommendations were pointed structured uh, megna also gave examples on uh, how the speaker could have said things differently by dis- demonstrating it herself so that was great and i would have also appreciated for some speakers to summarize the recommendations mostly the evaluations are started off on a positive note then you give the not so great evaluation um and then you summarize so that would have added one pointer for megna um it's best it's suggested that we don't use the word however but in our evaluation because that just negates everything that you've said before so all the good things that you've said it kind of get gets negated if you say however even though but so a better thing to say would be xyz things could have probably made your speech even better so that is just one little pointer i have uh grand the r count r counter very precise to the point and the grammarian i think um, yeah a good uh, observation on the the word usage the not so great usage uh, good segregation as well i think um, what could have been done uh, slightly better was to organize yourself a little more so that you know we could have saved some of that time while you were trying to flip pages and figure out so i think that bit of time could have been saved there 
overall i think uh, it has been a fantastic experience for me this is the first time i was evaluating a meeting outside my club i've done this before but it was fabulous uh, to be joining all of you today and meeting all all new toastmasters from another club uh, i also uh, appreciate the fact that there are a lot of uh, toastmasters from other clubs in this meeting so i think manas does a fabulous job of probably getting more people from other clubs together and with that uh, let me conclude my general evaluation thank you for having me and all the best to you for all your future meetings over to you toastmaster of the day let me hand it back to you toastmaster arthi toastmaster arthi you are on mute still on mute or am i the one who is not able to hear her <clears throat> you are sure that you are and can you speak now uh so not able to hear you arti if you can remove your audio device or anything that you have plugged in she is just logging into other device excuse me she will also replicate duty's way of saying then she will speak from another device uh, yes you are audible now you are back okay thank you the evaluator Arthi, I would like you to put yourself on mute on one of the devices, so it will not echo. You can just okay. sure, sure. Yeah, you can speak from one device and put the other one on mute. So I think that will help. Thank you, General Evaluator Duty. That was a very crisp and detailed report. Thanks a lot for joining with us. and now i would like to hand over our presiding officer over to you thank you toastmaster arti wow today all the women from various toastmasters club supported our speakers community toastmaster club and hence our meeting i would say was a fair fair success because of fair damsels that supported us that is what toastmaster is about when it comes to women empowerment before i thank all of us who has made this successful let me first call out who the winners are i think we are all impatiently waiting for them right alpana so, uh, yes we have polls for role players okay all right so could we have the polls kunal for the auxiliary role player Kunal, yeah. Thank you, uh, Kunal. Could we have the role player polls next? and table topics could we have the poll for table topics please table topics is already done it okay, speaker i'm sorry the speaker could we have the poll for the best speaker yeah it is done too okay all right 
So could we now know who the winner is first for the speaker, Kunal? Kunal, if you can give uh, Kunal some time to prepare, maybe we can take a group photograph till that time. Okay, all right. In that case, let us move on. Let us make this meeting a memorable one. And let's say cheers to us for the Women Empowerment Day. Kindly switch on your videos and let us have a memorable click for today's meeting. Yes. Let us know when the click is taken, Ankit. I, I would request everyone to please put on your cameras, Monica. I, okay. Rishav. Okay, everyone say cheese. Great, thank you. Thank you. That was nice. Are the polls ready, Kunal? Yes, I'll present now. Okay. Let us see with bated breath who the winners are for today. The best speaker goes to Toastmaster Ashwini. Congratulations, Ashwini. Toastmaster Kunal, could you kindly highlight of pin Toastmaster Ashwini and take a photograph? Best role player auxiliary. Ankit, could you click the pictures, please? Ashwini, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's done. Thank you. Could we have the next winner, Toastmaster Kunal? The best table topic speaker goes to none other but Sakshi Srivastava. Sakshi, congratulations. I can I really see you, you know, going up the hill in that song. <laughs> Thank Good you so much. Congratulations. Is the photograph taken, Toastmaster Kunal? It's done. Yeah. Is it done, Ankit? Yes, yes. Our next speaker, our next uh, winner, the best speaker. It's for the best evaluator. Okay, yeah, oh, all right, I just saw it. It's for the best evaluator is again Toastmaster Shakshi Srivastava. Congratulations, Shakshi, that was wonderful. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm humbled, but thank you so much. I really enjoyed. Good, thank good. You. Congratulations. Yeah, it's done. Thank you. Could we have our next winner, Toastmaster Kunal? The yes. best goes to none other than Toastmaster Archita. Archita, we really enjoy. I think mothers are our heroes. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Toastmaster Kunal, could we have a memorable picture with her? Yeah, it's done. Thank you. I think we have come to the end of the awards or the certificate. No, best role player. Best role player. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Best role player goes to Toastmaster Beauty. Congratulations, Toastmaster Beauty. Toastmaster Beauty. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you for such if wonderful. You, if you can please uh, look at the camera, if you can take a photograph. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this unexpected. Thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Kunal and Toastmaster Ankit for those polls and the certificates. As I told you today, all women meeting was successful, not just because of us women. A fair success was possible because we had invisible hands of our ever encouraging and empowering us women, like VPE Manas, like 
distinguished Toastmaster Ankit, our Zoom master Kunal, who was ever present, and our other members like Akarsha Kreshav, who joined us all to encourage us and support us. I also would take this opportunity. I know I am keeping you women in the end because I want you all to be remembered. Shakshi, she is the division director of Division J. She was our evaluator. Thank you so much for those minute observations. I was stumped by your listening skills and the tips that you gave us. We at Speakers Community Toastmasters Club, all of us will ensure to implement those small tips and make our meetings more memorable, more better, and more smooth running. Toastmaster Ashwin from TCS, can you imagine the variety we had in today's meeting? Thank you, Ashwini, for that double bonanza role that you managed. Sharmishta from Agnel, thank you so much, Sharmishta, for being a part of this meeting of ours. Yuti from Sipla. So we have corporates also with us. Thank you so much. Archita from Tech Talkers. Meghna from Ahmedabad. So it is not just Mumbai. We, the Zoom High meeting is really taking us places. Table topic master and timer Ashwini. Thank you. Thank you for managing the roles of a timer as well as table topic master. And we all enjoyed the topics that you gave us today. As I conclude, I live with memories that have been very close, that has made us feel very proud and happy. And all the Toastmaster women out there, thank you. Thank you from Speakers Community Toastmasters Club's members for being a part of this meeting and making it an enormously successful and a memorable one. I hereby declare 52nd meeting close.